Hi, I'm Michael with iMobile Fan. In today's video, let's take a look at Copy, an app that provides a fast and easy way to manage the clipboard and useful for speeding up many of your daily tasks on the go. Hey guys, welcome to iMobile Fan. In this channel, you'll find tips, tutorials, and insights into iOS apps, productivity hacks, and workflows so that you can get work done much faster and easier on your iPhone or iPad. Today, I'm excited to show you an app that's not usually brought up when the topic of iPhone productivity gets covered. But after watching this video, you might start to rethink the way that you work on your mobile. The app that I'm referring to is Copied, a clipboard manager for the iPhone and iPad that saves the content of your clipboard so that you can copy and paste it again later on. If this description doesn't sound like it would do much to boost up your mobile productivity, let's take a look at practical ways the app can be useful in a day-to-day -day routine. Let's say that you and a coworker are sharing a Google document on a project, and now you want to make the file accessible to more members of your team. Using Copied, you can save the document's URL link to the clipboard once and have it handy and ready to share anytime you need it. This type of workflow or routine not only saves time, but provides a solution when you need to copy, paste, and share repeated information. Besides pasting repeated content, copy is also handy for capturing and organizing the things that you find online. For example, let's say that you come across an interesting article and want to compile a note made up of all the important points made throughout the post. On mobile safari, this gets to be a challenge since you'll need to jump back and forth and switch apps when copying the various selections to paste them. But with Copied, you don't need to switch apps or do any fancy maneuvering to make this happen. Let me show you how. To create our note, let's return to the post and collect some content. Now, this is a good time to mention that Copied provides many ways of saving content to the clipboard. And one of those options is found right in Mobile Safari in the Actions menu. So let's take a look at saving clippings using the Save to Copied extension. To bring up the extension, tap on the Share Sheet menu icon and then tap on the Save to Copied option. And that's it, our selection just got saved. For the purpose of creating our note, I'm going to repeat the process a few more times to demonstrate how easy it is to copy various stuff. And while I'm doing this, let me point out that other content formats besides text and links can be saved. For instance, image files like JPEGs and the popular GIF format are other two types of content sources that can also be sent to the clipboard. Now, to start pasting our clippings, let me go over to the Notes app, and once I'm there, I'll bring up the additional copied keyboard to input the saved text from the clipboard right into the app. Getting to the clipboard is as easy as tapping on the globe icon and then tapping the clippings to paste them. And that's it. We've done. We made our note without having to do all the extra jumping around. Now that you've seen how easy it is to get stuff in and out of the clipboard, let me take you inside the app and show you around. The main page in copy is where everything gets saved and collected. To find stuff, you can either scroll through the clipboard history or use the app's built-in search. Or if you want to show off your iOS Ninja skills, Spotlight can also be used to bring up the clippings from anywhere in iOS. Getting around the app is just as easy. For example, a right swipe gesture sends a clipping back to the clipboard. While a left swipe gesture will also copy a clipping to the clipboard, but can also send it to a group list, to the share sheet menu, and to the trash. And again, if you want to show off your advanced iOS Ninja skills, a force touch gesture and swiping up will pop open other actions. As you can see, the app does a great job at quickly capturing content to the clipboard and providing actions to do stuff with your clippings. But the fun doesn't stop there. The app is also quite functional at keeping things organized. For example, if you feel that things are getting a bit cluttered or out of hand, just go over to the settings menu and next to the copied history tab, Adjustments can be made to select the number of saved clippings. Now, as mentioned before, there are several ways to get clippings to and from the app. 
Two of the most common ways that I interact with copy starts by way of the Today widget and the 3D Touch option. From these two, you can search, add, view, and save clippings into Copied without having to open the app fully. Now right about here is where I usually start to wrap things up. But since you've made it around and made it all the way to the end of the video, let me show you one last thing. For an additional in-app purchase, Copy provides Clipboard Sync. This sync option automatically updates the clipboard of all sync devices when you copied, save a clipping on any iOS device. So if you have more than one device, like an iPhone or iPad, clipping sent to the clipboard on one device shows up on the other. And also me enough, Clipboard Sync works over on the Mac too, if you're using the iOS version of Copied on the Mac. This is a great option for folks who use both platforms like yours truly and need a quick way to move stuff between mobile and desktop. As you just seen, the clipboard on your iOS device can be transformed to be an essential productivity springboard for many of your daily tasks. The app Copied is the best iOS clipboard managing tool in my humble opinion because it provides the features and clipboard managing options to start taking control. Do you see a need for using a clipboard managing app on your iOS device? And how would you speed up your productivity with Copied? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and hit the subscribe button to see more videos like the one you just watched. Ready to see more? Tap on the info card on the screen or click on the link in the post to watch more videos. See you on the next one.